Hi, I am Dr. Craig Premack, a physician at Scottsdale Weight Loss Center. Today, I'd like to spend a few minutes talking to you about insulin, a very, very misunderstood hormone in the world of weight loss. Too much insulin and our body stores these extra calories as fat, increasing our weight. Too little insulin, we can go into a coma and end up in the hospital, possibly even dying. Insulin is a hormone that comes from an organ in the abdomen, in our stomach, called the pancreas. When we eat carbohydrate of any type, whether it be simple carbohydrates, complex carbohydrates, or even just sugar, our body senses that we've eaten it, it gets absorbed into our bloodstream, and insulin's job is to be the key that opens up the muscles to put some of this blood sugar in the muscles. And when we have so much in our muscles that is full, the rest of it gets stored in our fat for later use. Unfortunately, in our society now, with food so abundant, we do eat too many calories per meal, too many simple sugars, and more and more of it gets stored in our bodies each day. Over time, if we eat too many carbohydrates repeatedly, our body gets resistant to our insulin, a condition called insulin resistance. That's also, when it gets to a high enough point, is synonymous or the same as prediabetes. Prediabetes is the warning stage for getting real diabetes. Real diabetes, our body does not listen or does not hear the signal of our insulin very much anymore at all. And therefore the blood sugar that should be going into our muscles and into our fat as stored, unfortunately gets deposited in our blood vessels. It happens in our eyes, it happens in our kidneys. Unfortunately, it happens in our heart, causing more heart attacks. When thinking about insulin and our health, there's four things that I want you to keep in mind. A good night's sleep of seven hours is really important to help our body stay sensitive to the insulin that we're using. Not eating right before bed is another key. If we eat right before bed, our body turns off fat burning and turns on fat storage for at least three or four hours, but even up to six hours or so. And so the time when we should be burning most of our fat, which is nighttime, we're now actually not burning fat, we are storing fat. The third is regular cardiovascular exercise. Movement of our muscles, where we're burning some of the carbohydrate that's stored there, makes room for other carbohydrate to come in. We have shown that regular exercise helps decrease the blood sugar that's floating around in our system every day. And last, overall, keep your carbohydrates low. The less intake we have, or the less we eat carbohydrates of any form, the less carbohydrates our body has to process. And if we don't have carbohydrate on board, we don't have to worry about storing it. Hopefully these tips will help you now understand how insulin and too much blood sugar can cause problems with weight loss.